Hi, good morning. It's Saturday, the 28th of January, 2017. Um, hope everybody's going to have a great weekend. Um, today's goal <laughs> is I'm going to go see Resident Evil, the last movie. Um, I've seen it sporadically. I've seen the movie sporadically. I think I missed one movie here or there, but I've seen most of them for the most part. And I like me a lot, Jovovich, so I want to see how it ends and stuff. Love her character, so I just want to see how it ends, and uh, eventually get all of the movies. I got some of the Resident Evil movies, and like I got a steel book that somebody actually uh, sent to me, which was nice. Uh, uh, Karate Popcorn, <laughs> a great fellow YouTuber. I don't even know if she makes videos anymore, but she's a great fellow YouTuber. We used to make videos with her family and stuff, and they'd go on trips and stuff together and make great videos. Kate Popcorn, like I looked at, gotta look her up. Not karate popcorn. It was was it karate popcorn or cake popcorn? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. But anyway, she sent me one of the steel books. Uh, we have, and I think now they still have the steel books. I think in Best Buy. So who knows? And I know they have the collection and stuff. So who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll buy the other ones. But anyway, I'm gonna go see Resident Evil. Uh, so look for my review of that. And the Academy Award nominations came out uh this early this week, and I did a video. That's on my other channel, Paul's Views and Opinions. I'll give you what, what I thought of it and stuff. The link to that channel, my other channel, is in the description box, so you can uh, check that out as well. And also on that channel, I got another video uh, where a temporary spokesman for Donald Trump has uh, made a video. So if you want to watch and see what he thinks of uh, Trump's first uh, weekend in office, that's on that channel as well. And uh, Oh yeah, also I watched this movie yesterday, which I'm meaning to watch. Uh, this three-pack had three movies in this, you know, I Know What You Did Last Summer, When a Stranger Calls and, and Vacancy. Okay, that's the one that I wanted to watch. The one Luke Wilson and uh, Kate Beckinsale and Frank Worley. I wanted to watch that for a while, so I saw this triple pack, so I, you know, jumped all over that. <laughs> so look for my review of Vacancy as well. I'll, you know, when I come back from the movies, I'll give you what I thought of that as well. Uh, so, and then, of course, come back up and do a little movie shopping and, you know, a little food shopping and then back in the house. Of course, next week is the Super Bowl week. This is that week when the Pro Bowl, which I don't watch at all. <laughs> this is pro I don't think I've watched a Pro Bowl in years. I don't think I ever really watched it, to be honest. Because uh, the Pro Bowl, you know, they don't really try <laughs> in that. But who knows, I may give it a peek just because it's, they moved it to Miami this year, I think, just to, just to see it. But, Overall, doesn't really interest me at all. So, and again, oh yeah, I meant to also let you know about something else. I ordered the uh, plastic protective cases for my steelbooks, uh, and I've been I put them on some of them, but I, I think really this week I'm going to try to put them on on the majority of them. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can find one. Hold on, because I oh my god, here we go. Here. Uh, Elysium. I don't know if you can see this from this distance, uh, but there's Elysium. You know the Matt Damon one. I'm sorry for the shine, <laughs> but that, I just like the way it protects it. And then there's the back, of course, and then you can, you can see the spine clearly there like that. Okay, maybe I'll show like a close-up picture later when I do my uh, Blu-ray uh, update tomorrow. That and then this is a. Uh, Final Destination 5, it's that one. See, you got some nice little shine, but it more importantly, there's the back, and there's the spine. More importantly, it just protects the steel book, so that's why I got those. And uh, so I'll be putting them on majority of my steel books, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my steel books in one area, which I think I'm going to put them over there, in the shelving I have over here, and just take those Blu rays and put them. Somewhere else, but I think I'm gonna put my all my steelbooks in that area, and then 
the criterions I got, which I still have down there, I'm going to probably put over there as well. So it's in one section. So when I want to just, you know, pull them out or put additional ones here, I know they're in one area. Okay, so that's that. And uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, work wise, um, um, I actually uh, fill out the application, which I did already. But, you know, we were, I mean, assumption that that people were going to come around. Well, actually, people have come around from the new company that's going to be taking over and, you know, asking us questions and looking, observing work and stuff. And we had to fill out a, a form that, you know, tell you basically what your duties were daily, what you do on a daily basis in your job. We handed that in uh, on Friday. Yeah, so, which I assume they give to the new company so they know what we do in the course of our day. And so, but I filled out the rest of my application that I had and I attached my resume and I emailed it to, uh, to the, you know, because they sent us a, a contact person for this new company that we can send our resumes to and stuff where you fill out job history and all that stuff and how much you make and how much you, I guess, want to make and stuff. How much you made before the pass, and and of course, so they know, and what we want, you know, going forward. So I filled that out and I emailed that. So you know, like I said, because at the end of March, Williams Lee is out of there, and the new company comes in, and for the most, like I said, I want to stay, you know, so like the people that I work with, and and I think the majority of people that work there. Want to want to stay? I know ships. Sure, there's probably a few people that may want to continue on with Williams Lee, but I would like to because the job is still going to be the job. So it's just it's going to be a different company coming in. So just like when, when I used to work for the parent company, Marsh and McLennan, and then Williams Lee came on, I stayed on, you know, because the job is the job. So so the same situation here. Um, and plus, if if you go with the Williams Lee, you know, you're subject because. And I like working days, you know, Monday through Friday and getting the weekends off. And and there's a chance, good chance if you go with Williams Lee, even if they find another job for you, you're going to be working a shift work, which I don't want to work. I don't want to work from night until the morning or the evening and stuff. You know, I'd rather work, continue working a day shift and having weekends off. Or work, I don't want to work Sunday through Thursday or anything like that. Okay, I, just, I like working Monday through Friday. Getting my regular vacation work, you know, you know, my eight to five that I work, and getting the weekends off. Okay, at, at this stage in my life, I um, that's what I want to work. I don't want to work shift work. Like I said, when I was in the service, I did that. You know, I worked, you know, shift work a lot. So, but I'd rather stay in my normal, you know, schedule. Anyway, um, so that's that. Uh, yeah. So, you know, we're just. Waiting to see, you know, waiting to see what happens. Hopefully, we can interview soon and and find out. Hopefully, they offer, which I think they will. I think most couple when the new companies come in, they usually get rid of the management part <laughs> and bring their own management in, and then keep the workers because they want to keep, you know, because basically they're they're outsourced company. And they want to keep the parent company, which is Marshall McLennan, happy. So and the best way to do that is to be consistent with keeping the people that actually do the physical work around. Which, which makes sense business-wise, you know, just get rid of the managers because you can bring your own people in because you're already paying them, okay? And so, and just get rid of, you know, the managers, their managers and bring in new managers, which kind of makes sense in a way. And that's what they did actually when Williams Lee came and they basically get rid of uh, a lot of the people that were there before that were from Washington McClendon and the management part is more than the Williams Lee people. Okay, and kept the workers and people that wanted to stay. They kept. Okay, so I'm gonna do it again. So I just want to again see what they're gonna offer, and hopefully, like I said, I, I just like to maintain my salary, and then you know, of course, have a chance to make more. But you know, like I said, like we, I think I mentioned this before, that they you know try to undercut what we're making. Like, yeah, you know, a little less maybe, but not a big salary. I'm not about you know exactly because I think I the have a right to earn exactly what we were making right now, exactly at least. Okay, so that's that. So anyway, um, oh yeah, I wanted to mention as well. What did I want? Something I wanted to mention. I can't remember. Anyway, this is that. Uh, I'll think of it later. Anyway, um, hopefully, uh, that's that. And uh, 
Okay, so again, look for my reviews of uh, Vacancy and Resident Evil, the final chapter, <laughs> uh, later today. Uh, again, like I said, usually when I do my videos, you know, my reviews, because I try to put pictures in the videos and make it a little bit more interesting than the me just sitting in front of the camera, you know, telling you what I thought of the movie, just to give you a little visual, whatever, that takes time for me to render it. Okay, when I edit the videos and stuff, so that's why the videos usually pop for you late <laughs> Saturday, early Sunday, or even Sunday morning or something like that. So that's why I, you know, if I was smart, I'd do, uh, do them as soon as I get But even when I do them straight at home, usually it winds up either being gone late Saturday or early Sunday morning. So anyway, look for those of you. I'm a, I keep trying to do them early so they can actually get up. The videos will get up before, you know, Saturday's over. <laughs> so, again, I apologize for that. But the reviews will be on this channel, on my main channel, okay? And, uh, again, I hope everybody have a good, you know, good weekend and stuff. And I'm looking forward to February because you got the Lego Batman movie coming out. And I think maybe that's when you'll get a trailer. But I'm waiting. I've been waiting for just the trailer. For a while, I think maybe with the Lego Batman, it's the perfect time to debut that. <laughs> so hopefully they do that. So you can, because I'm in denial for it, see a Justice League trailer. And so maybe they'll do that with that. Okay, and that's it. So again, everybody have a great weekend. Uh, again, links to my other channel, Paul's Views and Opinions, in the description box below, as well as links to my Facebook and Twitter are down there as well. And again, when I upload my videos and stuff, they automatically get uploaded to Twitter. So you, you know, you see them there, you can follow me there on there. That's where you'll always see my latest videos because my videos are linked to Twitter and also to Facebook as well. So that's why they're there. And the links again are in the description box below. Okay, so everybody have a great weekend. And this is Trey Baxter saying so long and take care.